Yes, get it to hold the cheese up a bit, so that's lovely. Yeah, keep the smile up. Yes, that's that's lovely. Okay, right, turn over. Running. Mark it. And action. You've got to be joking. What are you doing? Cheese commercial. Well, even Steven Spielberg has to start somewhere. <laughs> right, Sarah, love, is there any chance for us getting back to work? Okay. Where can I find you? There's a club called Madame Trevor's, nine o'clock. <laughs> See you later. En nu op de volgende is wat langzamer. Zo, so, you two know each other long. Oh, since we're about that high. Bermondsey Secondary School. Oh, well, Bermondsey, bet you're a right couple of delinquents. Sir, this is the big time, is it? This is what the big time? Oh, making movies, Hollywood next door. Yeah, job set, more like. <laughs> I'm you know, you're very photogenic. Is that good or bad? I've ever considered a career in the movies. Oh, gee, Willoka, Mr. Hitchcock, you mean you want to make me a star? He wants to make you. <laughs> well, look, don't decide now. We'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> so what do you do with this lot? I'm called a PA. Amongst other things. A PA stands for production assistant. Yeah, she doesn't produce, she doesn't assist, but she has got a gorgeous bum. <laughs> Real charmer, this one. Don't mind Colin. He just thinks all women should be pregnant, barefoot and in the kitchen. <laughs> no, 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 listen, listen. I don't care if you wear shoes. Excuse me, just a minute. I wonder if she knows you in the movies. <laughs> it's a riot. <laughs> he could have been a qualified megalomaniac, and he failed the written test. Sounds fun. Megalomania? No, being a PA with a film crew. Funny, it ain't. I'm just a gopher. Yeah, don't well, if you're that a gopher, then I'm a bit fucked. This conversation's getting a bit too intellectual for me. Excuse me. Kijkjes voor onze gala avond volgende week zaterdagavond zijn nu beschikbaar. Tell us about your love life. Off and on to coin a phrase. Is he al eens eerder geweest? Did have someone? Did. Was great, except for one thing. He had a terrible memory, doesn't he? It took him three months to remember he had a wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great to see you again, Fred. Same here. When are you leaving? Tomorrow afternoon. So are we. We can go back together. Oh, great. Are you working tomorrow morning? Yeah, but we can meet up at the check-in. All right. <laughs> you can't see you're open. What's the joke? <laughs> Forget it. Oh, come on. Tell me. What is it? <laughs> Says will be Demille there. <laughs> what about him? No way out for me, girls. <laughs> I hope he doesn't take her home tonight. Or if he does, I hope he's got a sense of humor. Why? <laughs> it's a fella. <laughs> what? naar Stockholm is één uur vertraagd vanwege slechte weersomstandigheden in Stockholm. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Hey, ask him if he had a good time last night. Did you? Been in a funny mood all day. Can't think why. I mean, he always said he wanted a girl who had everything. <laughs> Flight's been called. <laughs> Look, 
I've got your address and phone yes. number and you've got mine, so you better phone me, all right? Yeah, I'm not going to do all the work. You've got to phone me as I'm well. I'm going to phone you. I'm going to phone you on Tuesday. Really really Excuse me, miss. Yeah? Can I see your bag? It's my turn for the spot check. You better go on. I won't be a sec. No, I'm in no hurry. Oh, that's nice. Just my luck for Mr. Wonderful to pass by right now and see all this lot. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Explain what this is. I've never seen it before in my life. Okay, be reasonable. What is unreasonable about trying to help her? Firstly, the matter is one for the police and not for us. I don't know what we could do anyway. Well, we could try and find out who planted the stuff on her. Secondly? What? Well, you said firstly. What second? Secondly, how do you know she didn't do it? I've known Sarah since I was 11. The very idea of her peddling drugs, well, I mean, it's ridiculous. Fred, how long is it since you've seen her? What? I don't know few years, maybe. People change. What's that? The thought for today. People change. I think we've said all we can on this. Well, I haven't! Then say it elsewhere. I want to take two weeks' leave starting now. Does that mean what I think it means? I've got it coming to me. It's overdue, sir. I have no objections if Mrs. Forbes doesn't. No, but thank you, ma'am. Fred! What the hell do you think you're doing? It's called trying to help a friend. Don't you dare behave like that again in front of Nigel or in front of me! deal in heroin or heavy stuff. This job isn't exactly danger free. Fred, this job won't cover you. If anything goes wrong, you're on your own. No weapons, no badge, no backup. Okay! It is not okay! You haven't calculated the risks involved. That is rule number one in our job. It's the first thing we're taught. You're going into God knows what, swinging both arms. You're angry, you're emotional. If I tried, I couldn't think of a worse way to begin. Tessa said something that made sense. People change. Think about it. bottom in it. Yeah, well, I didn't know that. I swear I didn't. Where did you buy it? I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, God, it's no use. I'm never going to prove I didn't know the stuff was there. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, sir, but uh, she can't come in. Oh? Why not? Well, sir, I mean, she's a lady. Every inch. 
What I meant was, ladies aren't permitted to enter the club at this time of day. Oh, I see. I'm just waiting to see the commissioner. Nigel. Good morning, Arthur. This is Mrs. Forbes. I have heard of you, Mrs. Forbes. How do you do, Commissioner? I'm afraid we'll have to have our meeting on the pavement. Why? Apparently, these elegant pillars will crumble around our ears if ladies are allowed in. It's in the rules. I'm sorry, sir. Meet Evans, known to everyone as Jobsworth. Jobsworth? Um, couldn't you let Mrs. Forbes come in for just a few minutes, Evans? No, sir. And why not, Evans? It's more than my job's worth, sir. Thank you, Evans. You never let me down. Paper it is, Nigel. Nigel tells me, Mrs. Forbes, that one of your operatives has gone unofficial. Yes, Commissioner. Is she good? Very. It's my pet, you know. Not yours. Drugs. She knows she has no cover. I've spoken to a couple of people. Scotland Yard has no objection to your continuing this line of inquiry, as long as we're kept informed. Thank you, Arthur. Does that imply that you think the girl, Sarah Fields, didn't know she was carrying heroin? Pursue the inquiry, Mrs. Forbes. And keep us informed. Oh, thank you, Commissioner. I um, was turned down by this place once. A lucky escape. Half the members have been trying to resign for years. But you can't. It's not allowed. What name? Smith. Miss Smith? Yeah. There's a reception. Just around the corner. Cheers. Hi, all right. Still can't believe it about Sarah, you know. No, nor can I. Said on the phone you'd seen her. Yeah. How is she? Well, how would you feel? Why do you want a job? Well, it's a job. Sarah's loss is your gain, right? Make me sound like a vulture. Oh, someone's got to do it. Why are you, then? Plenty of girls here would kill to get a job in a crew. Well, I'm not about to kill anyone, but I thought we got on well when we met the other day. Or did I read it wrong? Oh, no. You didn't read anything wrong. You got the job. Great, thanks. Wait till you see what you've got to do. Take that barge, lift that bale. When do I start? Right. Three white, two black. One with sugar. <laughs> I'm the angels that dance on the head of a pit. What colour pyjamas does Gary Lineker wear? Action. There are prizes to be won every day in the planet. Your favourite newspaper. Win two weeks of a Costa Brasa with your nearest and dearest. Clapping up the sun, the sand and the sangria. Win tickets for Shirley Bass's big, big concert at the album. Come on, girls, you've got to speed it up. Drag it out like this with the overlap in the next two weeks. Now listen, please. And count how many seconds you have to be beach bums. Two weeks on the Costa Brown, lapping up the sun, the sea, and the sand breeze with your nearest and dearest. And that's four seconds for that ball to go back and forth at least three times. All right, well, let's do it again from the top. How did Amsterdam go? Haven't you heard? Heard what? About Sarah. I just got back from New York last night. She was arrested at customs. What? I found a pound of heroin in her bag. Are you serious? Oh, Fred, meet Richard Maitland. This is our boss. Just found out about Sarah. Used to share pyjamas for a bit. 
Right, girls, balls in the air. Ah, oh, Richard. Good of you to see me. You're looking good, Charles. Yes, I know. Do you have anything to tell me? Yes. I'm not in the bad news mode at present, Richard. Bad news plunges me into black despair. Our problem has been taken care of. Trust me, Charles. I've always trusted you, Richard. The secret of your considerable success is that you inspire trust. Like all talented confidence tricksters. Richard, no more Sarahs. to get into movies. Well, well, the whole gang's here. How's it going? I'm not kidding. I've really had to work. Lugging around wardrobe skips, hanging up smelly costumes. I've made about 50 cups of coffee, lost count of the teas. We tried the two-week holiday routine on Nigel. It worked. You've got backup if you need it. Thanks. And, uh, be careful. No John Waynes. She must have been a really good friend, Sarah. She still is. Sec, you're the new PA, aren't you? Yes. Colin asked me if you could sign for some hire equipment. You don't come into my office when I'm not here, okay? Sorry. Richard Maitland, you say? Yes, he runs a film company. Maitland. Richard James. 38 years old. Made a dubious fortune in his twenties by building villas in Spain that had a nasty habit of falling down shortly after they were bought. He went on to form a Byzantine network of companies whose only function was to move whatever fragile capital the boy wonder had made from one to the other until it became impossible to trace. Unless, of course, one knew of his liking for banks set in warmer climes, like the Seychelles and Cayman Islands. Oh, Hugh, you're not telling me he's dishonest. Dishonesty is a relative term, Maggie. We financial hacks use more precise words. Such as? Flexible, financially creative, imaginative. Until he gets caught with his hand in the till. Then we say his power base was insecure. <laughs> <laughs> Maitland's never been charged with anything, has he? Nope. Is he clever or lucky? Oh, a bit of both. If he's guilty of anything, it's fraud. And the police hate fraud. <laughs> so do the courts. The juries don't understand the evidence. The judge doesn't want to sit three months on a case where any frauds are worth his salt. Make sure that there are sacks of documents ready when the law pounces. And most of them in Arabic or Czech. Has he ever been involved in drugs, then? Taking or selling? Either. I uh, don't move in his circle, but I've never heard of anything. Hugh, you're eating the bird food. <laughs> Come on. I owe you a bit conservative. Fancy, against the bruiser? My God, women are bold these days. Whatever happened to the time when men did the chasing? A swift half pint is hardly a proposal of marriage. Uh, all right. Don't get him home too late. He's got to wash his hair on a Thursday. Ignore this man, my love. Thank you. 
Cheers. So what do you think about this business with Sarah? Terrible. I think it was planted on her. What, carrying through customs? Yeah. So there's only one thing wrong with that. The stuff wasn't stuffed in a pocket, was it? It was found hidden in the lining of her own bag. You said something about her and Maitland. Richard called me Dick Maitland. Well, he's out to lay anything that's female and moves. Do you think Sarah was in love with Maitland? She was ambitious. See, with some women, it's difficult to tell whether they're in love or whether they're faking it to get further up the ladder. Have you been in love lately? What's it to you? I'm sensitive. I have sensitive questions. I like you. Women who buy their rounds turn me on. Oh, I see. So it's my money you're after and not me. It is possible to like more than one thing at a time. <laughs> you got to get home and wash your hair or something. You haven't answered my sensitive question. <laughs> no, I haven't, have I? Say, yes. Can I help? No. Uh, Sarah Fields flat is on the first floor. Oh, yes, only she's away just now. Yes, I know. Uh, are you a friend of hers? Uh, a friend of a friend. Oh, uh, you don't know when she'll be back, do you? Only, you see, I'm looking after her cat, and I've got to go to the country this weekend. She said she'd only be away three days. She's been detained. Detained? Delayed. Uh, look, I'll be getting in touch with her. Um, I'll ask her about the cat. Thank you. I suppose I could take it in the basket, but it hates being shut in. Yes. Yes, they do. and their truck around the corner. You'll find it on the second sheet. Let's check it in. been to Sarah's flat before? No. Well, it could be all on HP. She's either got a rich uncle or else PAs earn more than I thought they did. Well, there's not many rich uncles in Bermondsey and I can tell you they're going right for a gopher. You're not telling me, Sarah. What? I know you were involved with Richard Maitland. The stuff in your flat. Did he buy it for you? Yeah. Why? Because he was generous? Yeah. Is that so hard to believe? How long did it last? Look, Fred, just forget the whole thing, okay? I don't want you snooping no, around. I am trying to help you. Yeah, well, you're not. So just get off my back, okay? I don't want you to come here again. It looks like the girl is involved. But who's she working for? Maggie. 
You found out a thing or two about Maitland. Well, nothing to say that his first division in drugs, I mean, he's more likely to be into pyramid selling, cowboy development, city fraud. The only other candidate, then, is Charles Jeffries. The owner of Selwood Studios. Stacks of money from solid sources. Insurance, oil, property. All very legit. But he has some eccentricities. One is, he likes to patronize ambitious and, uh, incidentally, attractive young men in the enterprise of their choice. Then, apply for his reward. Look. I'm getting very nervous about Fred. She's getting in too deep. Stick close to her. At the first sign of trouble, pull her out. Did he make a stop? No. What do you think? I think he knows I'm here. I think he knew Fred was too. She must be slipping. Unless she wanted him to see her. Fred deliberately blew her cover? Well, it's one way to get them to show their hand. Right, now, you sit on Steve's knee. Right, that's it. Yes, put your hand on, Now, put your hand underneath Steve's knee. That's it. That's not Now, I want to see you now. Excuse me. Oh, I see. Yeah. Maitland just rushed in and coloured Von Strahan. It's got him over there. You hired her, for God's sake. She was a friend of Sarah's. Wonderful. What's wrong with that? You tell me. Well, why should there be anything wrong? She's bright. She's a good worker. Do you know where she is at this moment? She's on a lunch break. She left the studio in her car. So? She was following somebody. Who? Never mind. She was sick. No, hold on, Richard. Hold on. Just calm down. What do you mean she was following someone? If she was, why are you getting so worked up about it? Colin, you've done all right in this outfit. You're getting exposure, people like your work, they ask for you, play your cards right, you could go top league, four, five grand a day maybe. But this kind of business, it's high risk, 
High risk means shaving off a few corners, you know what I mean? Some creative accounting here and there, cross collateralization offshore tax shelters, buzzwords, Colin, they mean funny money. You know it goes on and so do I. Run filmmaking like selling jam, we'd all be on welfare. And bring Fred into this fascinating story. Sure. Your new PA is a snooper. I've already caught her sneaking around in my office, now somebody's spotted her following one of my staff. She could be Inland Rev, Colin, VAT, Fraud Squad. Could be, if she isn't, she scores. It's bye-bye five grand a day, Colin. Get rid of her! Amsterdam drug route is involved, then get her out of there. She may refuse. Refuse? She's working them up into making a move. She isn't going to quit now. Mrs. Forbes, you are her immediate superior. You have had 20 years of exercising authority. Are you now telling me that you are incapable of controlling your operatives? I have no control over my operatives when they're on leave. Maggie! The girl is blown. She is in great peril. Do something. I'm asking you to come in. Not yet. Fred, your cover's blown. Sarah didn't know she was bringing in the heroin. They bring it in through the equipment. Someone set her up because she knew something. Maggie, please. Not yet. I'm almost there. I know I can prove she's innocent. I know I can. I just can't quite yet. How do you think I would feel knowing that she didn't do it? Fred, for God's sake, be very careful. I will. How did she get on to Scott? I don't know. What are you going to do about it? Do you mind if I'm frank? Please. Charles, I'm tired of being a carrier pigeon. Yeah. Going to have to find another way to bring the stuff in. But the present system is so perfect. You take all the risk, and I take all the profit. Joke. Huh. I've never understood why you want to risk your neck dealing. You've made your pile in kosher ways. No funny business. Why bother with drugs? A rich man must have a tax-free enterprise to keep him steady. Besides, it's always pleasant to have more. Oh. All this palaver is merely so you can get a bit more. What does money mean to you, Richard? Bigger house, bigger car, nicer holidays. When you've got the biggest of everything, the only thing that's left is to make more money. I'll have my lawyer disband the company and arrange for you to pay back the initial investment. Without interest, of course. We are still friends. I wouldn't want to make it hard for you. Just pay back the seed money and we'll call it quits. Fred, wonderful news. You mean I passed my screen test? Tonight, I'm not washing my hair. What do you mean? Available. Well, I might have a date. Break it. You're a bit confident, aren't you? Yes. Women like it in a man. Bold gaze, firm handshake, that sort of stuff. The world does seem full of single wimps these days. Get in the car, kid. I'm going to put the diamonds in your teeth. Yes, that's right. to Clint Eastwood. I'm always nervous with beautiful women. Yeah, I like your style. Carry on. No, no, that's enough. Flattery makes for conceit. No chance. I don't believe a word. Better believe what's coming next, Ken. What? You're fired. What? Sorry. Well, I like a man who's full of surprises, but that's a bit over the top. You've not been straight with me, love. In what way? Why you wanted Sarah's job. Because it was a job, you said. Wrong. Look. Sarah was set up. I thought it might be someone at the studio. And is it? I don't know yet. Is that why you've been following people about? You want Sarah back? Yes, I do. 
But not if it interferes with you earning five grand a day. Yeah, I've been busy. Listen. There's something going down at the studios. Something heavy. I don't know what it is. Are you sure you don't? No, I don't. But Sarah got mixed up in it, and someone shopped her. It's bad news back there, love, and I don't want you going the same way, and you could, easy, so you get your cards. I'm only doing this because I like you a lot. I mean, I could get very fond of you. Yeah. Well, it's a pity that I never got the chance to feel the same way about you. Don't go back to the studios, Fred. I've left my car there. Lovely. Make up. Need to do something on the side. That's all right, sir. Another HMI, Dick. Feed it on the spider. Oh, that's all right. What's more? Hey. Give me a Charlie bar and a two K. I thought I told you to stay away from here. Just working my time. Fred. Hello. Hi. How are you getting on? Fine. Good. Do you like it here? Yeah. Come into the office. Let's have a chat. All right. My name is Mrs. Ford. Fred works for me. Right now she's out, trying to prove your innocence. It is possible that her life is in danger. Right, young woman. I want some answers. Now. Makes a change. From what? It's normally me that makes the coffee. Oh, yeah, that's how they all started out, right? Alfred Hitchcock started out sweeping floors. Did he? Yeah. At the old uh, Gaumont Studio. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, hello, Franz. How are you, man, here? Yeah. Yes, I'm well. Yes? Why, tonight? No, no, I couldn't possibly make it. Just a thought. Uh, hold on, Franz. Fancy a quick trip to Amsterdam? Yeah, fine, when? I need a courier like an hour ago. Pick up a briefcase. Contracts, confidential stuff. I need to get my passport. Well, I'll run you to the airport. We'll pick it up on the way. I've got my car outside. It's hassle. I'll take you. That's all settled. I'm sending you a courier. Don't delay her. <laughs> yes, she is. Very. Danke. Make a good job of this. I'll take you off the coffee round. Thank you very much. Departure of flight 265 to Amsterdam. Passengers should proceed to gate 21 immediately. How should I know? Gone home? Her car's still in the car park. She hasn't been seen since lunch. Well, I haven't got her. Anything happens to her, Richard, and the crap will hit the fan.
Amsterdam this morning. No, I don't know which airline. I want every manifest check for all flights from all airports in southern England to Holland. No signing. God knows what possessed me to get involved in this. She would have done it anyway. Sensibly doubted her friends. You were wrong to? I believe her when she says she didn't know the stuff was in her bag. And it must have been planted. Don't tell me it's going to take a long time. There is a life at risk. Selwood Studios. Somebody must have bought her flight ticket. Yes. Oh, it is, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I haven't got much time. I know how they're going to set me up. Right. Excuse me, madam. Yes? Would you mind opening your case, please? Sure. That's not my case. Come with us, please, madam. I can assure you that's not my case. I had some papers, business papers. That's not my case. I'm telling you, will you listen to me? It's not my case. Bloke, same case, beige mac. Thank you, boys. The British Airport Authority reminds persons of the of this terminal that parking is strictly prohibited except for sitting down with passengers. Any unattended vehicles will be towed away. Would you tell anything where I can have seen it? I'm sorry to bother you. Thank 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 you.
Well? Thank you, John. I'm glad to see that someone is competent. It won't happen again, Charles. My good boy, since you intended to stand our partnership, I don't suppose it will. Actually, Charles, I've been giving it some thought. If it's all right with you, I'd like to continue as we are. Search warrant. Open it. Help yourself. Oh, please. Harold. No, uh, it's ridiculous. That case isn't mine, you know. I've never seen it before in my life. No. It's his. You see, it has nothing to do with me. No, I, uh, I'm not taking them. Take them away. You tell your friend the good news. Why'd he give you the money, Sarah? Why so much? I found out that they were bringing in stuff hidden inside the equipment. Maitland and Jeffries. Colin didn't know anything about it? No. Well, why didn't you tell him? Why didn't you tell the police? I've always wanted nice things. Yeah, and blackmailing Maitland got them. When he went back to his wife, I wanted to kill him. Instead, I thought, what the hell? Why not make as much as you can out of that bastard? Maybe I got a bit too greedy for him. Whatever. I'll never forget what you did, Fred. Are we still friends? I got into this because I persuaded my people you were straight. Sarah, peddle heroin, I said. Don't be daft, not my old mate Sarah. She was set up, I've known her for years. That's what happened. You let heroin get onto the streets because some bloke dumped you. Because you were greedy, there are a few more teenage corpses laying in that mortuary. Because you wanted nice things. Oh, Sarah. Still friends. I don't think so. Fred! Good luck. Don't go, please. Don't say it. 